2023 is almost over and has been a great year for AI. We saw everything from text editors to image generation, video editors, music creators, and so much more. And I think it's time for us to draw the line and find out what are the best AI tools of the year. The biggest category of AI tools we've tried is definitely text editors. Here, it's really difficult to pinpoint the overall best because each tool has its own unique features that others don't. For example, one of the biggest revelations for me in 2023 was Google Bard. On paper, Google Bard isn't all that exciting, it's just a regular chat-based AI. But what makes it so special for me is its writing ability. Unlike the well-known AI, Bard has proven to be slightly more accurate in writing and a bit more clever. Since it wasn't trained solely on text data, it has a smaller knowledge pool, which is actually a benefit because it gets confused less often. It also has access to search engine, making it a perfect tool for learning new things and researching. I know it may sound crazy, but when it comes to generating text or rewriting, I often choose Bard because it adheres better to my requirements. The text it creates sounds more natural and human, less artificial and AI generated. Additionally, it has pretty good image recognition capabilities, which we tested rigorously in one of our previous videos, so be sure to check it out. But of course, in terms of features, Bard gets completely bitten by ChatGPT. As you might have guessed, I am not a huge fan of GPT for its text generating capabilities. In my case, it's been rather dull and incorrect lately. But where ChatGPT really shines for me and earns the crown of being the best AI editor overall is in its additional features. For example, one that I've been really keen on using lately is my GPTs. This feature basically allows me to create a custom GPT just for me, upload the knowledge I wanted to use and fully tailor it to my workflow. Again, this is a finicky feature to use and, and you have to be careful about what you're uploading. But when done right, it's really good. And there's also a code interpreter feature that does wonders with databases, code, and all sorts of files. It can work with images, edit them, apply effects, and so on. Another thing that for me is really important and gives ChatGPT additional winning points is plugins and custom instructions. In custom instructions, I basically give default parameters for each response in every single chat. It can be a tone of voice, style, way of formatting text, anything you can think of. These plugins can be game changers. There are hundreds of them, each with unique capabilities. I won't go over them right now, but if you want, you can check out our video where I test the best plugins. And right now you might say that my picks for this video so far have been trivial and basic. Well, there's one more AI text editor that I want to highlight, text effects. But it's not your typical text editor. This one is tailored specifically for creatives, poems, songs, any creative and unusual writing, basically. It has this knack for taking ordinary words and giving them a poetic twist. I put in simple terms and it comes back with phrases that are both imaginative and meaningful. It's almost like it reads my mind and knows exactly what I'm trying to say, but in a more creative way. It can take regular text and make it witty, smart, and funny. Text effects can expand text, but not like your typical AI. It does everything like a proper creative writer would. So if you want to write a song, poem, or a book, but struggle with creative and witty bits, text effects is definitely the best here. But text editing is just a part of what AI can do, and where I was properly immersed this year is images. We did many things to images, but what really impressed me was image generation and image upscaling. For example, Firefly. Thanks to the huge library of images that Adobe used, the quality and photorealism of generated images can sometimes be frightening. Firefly is super good at sticking to my prompt and giving me the exact results that I want, but what makes it really stand out are all these additional stylistic controls to change the style, artwork, lighting, and even the camera parameters in the Firefly, I just have to choose a few options from a list or move a few sliders. And the results will always be great and exactly what you expect. I think for someone who needs a bit more control over their generated images, but doesn't want to learn prompt engineering 
Firefly is the best choice. Then there is also Dolly 3, which is just as good as Firefly, but in its own way. What truly amazes me in Dolly is how well it sticks to my prompts. No matter what I ask for, it will do it. It won't take even a step in the wrong direction. And the realism of those images, that truly something. There basically is no limit to what Dolly can create, and unlike Midjourney, all it needs is a simple prompt. All files are easily accessible, easily downloadable and easily editable. But what I simply cannot ignore is the fact that Dolly 3 is included in the ChatGPT subscription. It can be accessed directly or through different custom GPTs, which makes it an even more versatile tool. With its deep integration into ChatGPT and access to powerful computing facilities, Dolly generates images in fraction of a second. And for someone like me who values time and wants to have everything in one place, this tight integration is quite invaluable. As I said, we also did a bit of uh, upscaling and Magnific AI has proven to be the best upscaler of digital art or photos. Again, we have done a full and detailed test of everything it can do. So to see it all for yourself, be sure to check out the full video. And right now I just wanna say that despite having quite a creative way of treating people's faces, Magnific is definitely the most versatile and reliable AI for image upscaling. I can upload a photo of my face and get a photo of a better man, a more handsome man. Maybe that's not what you wanna get, but it does that. Sometimes it can change facial features like lips, nose, and teeth, but for the most part, that's not a big deal. With some adjustment of certain parameters, it's super easy to get a very respectable and high quality result, and I especially like how confident Magnific is when it comes to upscaling AI-generated images. It basically turns a very AI-generated photo into something truly photorealistic with realistic faces, details, and so on, and what it does to artwork it's just something. I'm telling you, check out the full video, it's really amazing. Definitely the best upscaler out there. And while we're talking about images, I also would like to honor Pebbly AI for being a really good tool for generative product photography. You upload a PNG of your product and choose a theme from a bunch they have, like studio or nature settings, then hit generate and bam, you get these realistic photos where your product blends perfectly with a the chosen theme. It nails the perspective and lighting, making things look super authentic. It's a huge money saver. Instead of hiring a photographer, you just snap a photo, let Pebbly work its magic and you're good to go. It's free for up to 40 photos a month, which is awesome for small businesses or startups. So yeah, I think this, this title is well, deserved here. But generating images isn't the only thing that blew my mind this year because I have also found quite a few AI tools that tackle videos. The one that really caught my attention was HeyGen, mainly because it is something that I could really use in my workflow to make better content. It has some basic functionality like generating talking head videos, writing a script for them, or even creating a custom talking head. And all of these features work really well, better than most talking head video generators but the feature that really caught my attention and was the main reason to include this AI in the list was its insane ability to translate videos. With HeyGen, I can just upload a video of me, select the language, and as a result, get a fully translated video. But it's not just the words that get translated, HeyGen copies the voice so that the translated audio sounds almost exactly as it could sound if I was speaking that language. And what's even more impressive, it does lip sync. This AI will create shorts for you from scratch. AI Heijian basically generates custom lip movement that fits the translated audio. This way, the final video looks like it was originally recorded in another language. This presents a huge opportunity for scaling the content. And now instead of learning Chinese or French, I can just translate a video in a few clicks, do some editing, and in the end, get a fully original and organic looking piece of content. And what really impressed me are the AI video generators. In video in particular, if you think that to create YouTube videos, you need to spend a lot of time in creating a script, recording a voiceover, finding footage, and then editing it all, forget all that. Because with InVideo, all I need is just an idea. It's that simple. I just have to type in my idea, pick a few simple parameters, and wait a bit. It takes a couple of minutes for AI to generate the video, and it's not just any video. InVideo AI will write the script, do the voice, 
find all the videos and edit them together. And even add captions on top of all that. This is by far the easiest way to pump out tons of videos in minutes. And the best part is that all the videos will be totally unique. The videos can be tailored for a specific audience, platform they will be published on, and even the look and feel can be customized. This editing may lack super creative bits like you can see in human-made videos, but this is certainly at least the level of a novice video editor. Personally, I see no reasons not to use it. And if that's not enough for you, there's another AI that takes the cake in repurposing someone else's videos. Video AI can create multiple short videos in just a couple of minutes. All I have to do is just paste the URL and click one button. After waiting for a couple of minutes, the AI comes up with multiple short videos that are perfectly cut, have captions, and are really interesting to watch. Moreover, this AI assigns a virality to each generated video, and this score basically shows the chances of each piece ongoing viral. And this is super useful if you're just starting out on YouTube Shorts or TikTok. Sometimes, of course, the selected parts of the video may not be as engaging and interesting as you would expect, but doing things this way is much faster and easier than doing everything manually. Video AI does a far better job at selecting and editing the videos than all the other similar AI that I have looked at so far. And this combination of simplicity and quality is the reason to call video AI the best AI to repurpose videos of 2023. But it doesn't end there. I simply cannot ignore the text to audio AI generators. Guessing who the winner is should be rather simple. It's Eleven Labs. If you haven't yet heard of it, Eleven Labs allows creators high quality voiceovers in just a few seconds without needing any fancy studio or expensive mic. It can also clone voices. You upload a voice clip, could be your voice or anyone's really, and give some details about it, like uh, the accent and stuff. Then you wait a bit and voila, simple voice cloning is done. What I like is how easy it all is, how effortless it is. The generated voice sounds really good and natural. Yes, sometimes the pronunciation may not be perfect, but unless you are the original speaker, it's really hard to spot a noticeable difference. And aside from voice cloning, Eleven Labs has a ton of voices in the database available to all users. This way, everyone can easily create custom voiceovers for short videos, for example, without needing to actually record the voice. And for the most demanding users, there is an option to do in-depth voice cloning that requires a couple hours of voice recording and takes a couple weeks to complete. But damn, it's good. And I'm just getting started because there's also music generation. AI truly can do it all. So far, the best tool I've tried all year is Beethoven AI. The cool part is you don't just pick pre-made tracks, you actually get to make your own, which is awesome for when you can't find that perfect track. You set up everything, the track's title, its length, and even the tempo. The real kicker is the genre selection. They've got nine different genres, from rock and pop to electronic and hip hop. So whether you're making a dramatic video or something upbeat, there is something for every mood. But here is the part that blew my mind. You can add emotions to your track. Say you're working on a part of your video that needs to feel a bit scary or intense. You just select fearful and whatever emotion you need and Beethoven AI does its thing. Integrating these emotions into the music so smoothly you can't even tell when one emotion shifts to another. It's seamless. I think now it's pretty obvious why I think Beethoven AI is the best music generating AI of the year. What surprised me was the abundance of business related AI tools from meeting planners to shop builders. But the most surprising one was Taylor Brands. And the reason for that is the absolute size of the package it provides. Taylor Brands is kind of like your AI-powered sidekick for kickstarting a business. Think of it as a smart tool that handles a bunch of the initial heavy lifting when you're setting up your brand. What's really cool is the range of stuff it can do. We're talking about creating your online presence, designing logos, even helping with the legal bits like LLC formation. Whether it's branding or building up your online profile, it's got you covered. So in a nutshell, Taylor Brands is this all-in-one platform that uses AI to take a bunch of the startup tasks 
off your plate. And this combination of powerful AI features and being actually useful is what makes it the best AI for business in 2023. There's one more thing that all business owners will be delighted to hear. AI can create websites for you. And I'm kind of torn between three, Hawkus, AI2 Page, and Framer AI. Let me tell you a bit about each one. With Hawkus, you start a conversation with this AI bot, and it's like having a casual chat about your business. You describe your services, what you want the website to do, and Hakus takes care of the rest. It's perfect if you're not tech savvy or just don't want to get bogged down in the complexities of website design. The process is intuitive, conversational, and really takes the intimidation out of web design. It's ideal for those who prefer a more human-like interaction in the design process. Next, there is AI2 Page. This platform is a bit more structured. You start by giving your project name and then detailing what you envision for your site. It's more directive. You are in the driver's seat telling the AI exactly what you want. AI2 Page is great if you've got specific vision in mind and need an AI tool that can follow detailed instructions to bring that vision to life. It's suited for those who have a clear idea and design preferences and want to see those translated accurately into a website. And then we have Framer AI, which is kind of like a real-time web design show. You type in your requirements and watch as the site gets built right before your eyes. The cool thing about Framer AI is the adaptability. It automatically generates versions for different devices, desktop, tablet, and mobile. This feature is a big win for ensuring your site is responsive and looks good on any device. Framer AI is the go-to for those who enjoy seeing the immediate impact of their ideas and love to tweak and refine elements as they go. And those individual benefits make it really difficult to pick a winner. Each of these AI builders has its charm. Hakus is all about ease and conversation, making web design feel like a friendly chat. AI2 page offers more control and precision, catering to those who have a deep detailed plan for their site, Framer AI with its real-time creation customization appeals to the more visually oriented and hands-on creators. So I think it would be fair to call all three the best AI website builders of the year and let you decide which one suits you best. There are so many AI tools that didn't make this list, but I have space only for the best. And if you want to know a bit more about AI tools, check out our other videos too, especially the one about cold GPTs for ChatGPT or image upscalers and see you there.